Well, expectant moms go to great lengths to stay healthy and avoid anything that could possibly affect their unborn child. And that's why the results of a new study by the Environmental Working Group are really disturbing tonight. They tested 10 newborns and they discovered that every single child, every single one, was born with some 200 dangerous toxins in their blood. Now, our own medical reporter, Kathy Fowler, knows about this study quite well firsthand because you actually played a role in it. Yeah, I was actually one of the three adults who also gave blood for the study. According to an independent lab hired by the Environmental Working Group, my blood contains 175 chemicals linked to cancer, 210 chemicals linked to heart disease, and 196 chemicals linked to birth defects. But that's not all. Toxic PCBs that were banned more than 30 years ago are also in my bloodstream. The most disturbing results, though, of this study revealed all 10 infants tested had almost as many chemicals in their blood as the adults. Before they take their first breath, scientists say newborns are being exposed to dangerous chemicals. The proof, according to the Environmental Working Group scientists, is in the umbilical cord blood. We found in these babies' blood an average of 204 industrial chemicals, pollutants, and pesticides, and that's at the moment of birth. Tests done on 10 newborn babies in hospitals across the U.S. found contaminants like mercury, pesticides, even fire retardant chemicals used in TVs, mattresses, and computers. The newborn blood also contained the chemicals used to make Teflon cookware nonstick, fast food wrappers leak proof, and children's clothing stain resistant. Environmentalists believe these chemicals play a role in the increase of many health problems like autism, obesity, asthma, leukemia, brain cancer, even birth defects and infertility. Most scientists agree because chemicals are a part of our environment, all adults will have some in their body. But some experts say the levels are too low to be of concern. Just because people have a measurable level of a chemical in their blood or urine doesn't mean that the dose will cause disease. I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't be worried. Lisa Toast Doherty became a vegetarian when she found out she was pregnant. She even grows some of her own food, all to reduce chemical exposure for her kids. Well, there's no proven harm. You don't know what your kids are being exposed to. Now, you can do some things to protect yourself. Reduce exposure to chemicals by eating less packaged food. Don't treat furniture and carpet to make them stain resistant and avoid clothing made with fabric that repels stains. Now, the environmental groups say many of the changes, though, must come from the top and the government agencies that control car emissions, industrial power plants, and approve, on average, seven new chemicals for consumer use every single day. Wow. So, I mean, did the doctors say that you need to take this really seriously, all these chemicals in your body, or is this sort of something that you can live with? Well, it depends on your point of view, but it, basically, we all have these amount of chemicals. What I do is, hopefully, you know, you can change mattresses and change your cookware, and there are are some things that you can do to reduce your exposure and hope. Cross your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Kathy. Thank